So we wish to find the limit of the sequence n raised to 1 over n squared. So we will use the squeeze theorem to find this. Recall, let's recall our squeeze theorem. So say we have x to be the sequence x sub n, y to be the sequence y sub n, and z to be the sequence z sub n, such that y sub n is greater than or equal to x sub n, but less than or equal to z sub n for all n element of the set of natural numbers. And the limit of x sub n is equal to the limit of z sub n. This means that y sub n is convergent and the limit of x sub n is equal to the limit of y sub n is equal to the limit of z sub n. Okay? So, kung meron tayong isang sequence na na sandwich or na squeeze sa gitna ng dalawang dalawa pang sequence at alam natin na yung limit ng sequence na nandito sa gilid dalawang gilid ay pareho then, sinasabi niya dyan na ah, yung limit ng nasa gitna parehas lang nung nandoon sa dalawang gilid. Okay? So, gagamitin natin yan para i-show yung limit ng n raised to 1 over n squared. So, we know that 1 over n, okay, this is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 1. For all n greater than or equal to 1. Okay? Pag chinect nyo yung graph nito, makikita ninyo na magsisimula siya sa 0 hanggang sa 1. Okay? So, wala nang ibang values. So, this is bounded by 0 and 1. Now, if we raise everything by n, so, we now have this inequality n raised to 0 is just equal to 1 and n raised to 1 is just equal to n. Pero ang hinahanap natin is n raised to 1 over n squared. So, if we, multi if we raise everything by 1 over n, this becomes now 1, this becomes 1 over n squared, and this becomes n raised to 1 over n. And now, if we find the limit of this, we have the limit of 1, the limit of n raised to 1 over n squared, it's the limit of n raised to 1 over n. We know that the limit of 1 is just equal to 1, and the limit of 1 over n, the limit of n raised to 1 over n is also equal to 1. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, so by the squeeze theorem, the limit of n raised to 1 over n squared is also equal to 1.